And then he says, I need for you to be careful. I want you to be safe. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday and it has been a week. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that there was a fire in a neighboring upstairs apartment and that was on Wednesday and we are still feeling the effects of that and some of the damage um, as a result of that. And yeah, so we have a lot of cleaning to do. We have a lot of um, repairs that have to be done because of the water damage after the fire department's response. So yeah, that's where we are today. The um, restoration people are actually coming to my apartment in a little bit. So I need to clear everything out of my closet, which I've been dreading to do, but um, it needs to be done. Xavier is in class. Ethan is in my room on the tablet and I am still working today. I guess on my lunch break today, I'm just removing stuff from my closet. So that's what I'm doing. Um, this is a situation right now. I um, have been putting, I have been putting these towels down and this is like the fourth or fifth time that I've switched them out, washed them, put them back down. So slowly it's, you know, obviously less and less, but as time goes on, more and more water trickles down. All of this is wet and all of that is wet. All of that, the bottom is wet. So I need to take all this out. The restoration people are gonna come in and remove the padding or something, I don't know. But apparently it's just gonna make it better so that I'm not constantly having to use the towels. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm getting ready to do. But first I'm gonna get Ethan some juice. Ethan is being a good boy. All of my clothes are here. Xavier is in class. Okay, so they just left. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, so this is what's making all the noise and they ripped out the carpet in there. They told me I could leave that stuff up there, but uh, now I kind of wish I moved it. Um, they took the padding out and the guy, let me come in here. The guy told me that there is some additional water damage in my bathroom. So I need to go and remove everything from my bathroom. I had to move my stuff. So all that stuff is from my closet. Um, Oh, I had to remove everything from my bathroom and um, bring it out here too. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go do that next, and yeah. What'd you say, Ethan? We got this on Target. You got that from Target? Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing a haul? Yeah. <laughs> so here is how my apartment is looking with all of my contents of my um, closet. I'm trying to keep it open walkway and get stuff out of the way. This is also wet over here. I need to tell them that. 
I need to take everything from out under there. This is gonna force me to organize this stuff, guys. So let me get to moving this stuff out. All right, so I cleared everything out from underneath. <sighs> My sink. You guys know this is actually not a bad thing. Here is this because this is always my first step when I am decluttering or organizing an area. So I'm not 100% mad at this. It's giving me an opportunity to, oh, should I empty this out? Let me empty out the medicine cabinet. I'm so confused right now because I literally have lost my coffee. Oh, here it is. <laughs> hey guys, so new development um i got off the phone with the property manager and the workers are going to be here early tomorrow morning so i did not think it was a good idea for the kids to be here because they're just going to be in the way but i want to be here my mom offered to watch them so they're going to spend the night tonight it's just going to be so much easier without them here so that's what i'm getting ready to do and yeah Okay. All right, so here's their stuff packed in the suitcase. Just one set of clothes, an extra pajama for Ethan. He's actually going in pajamas. Then there are toiletries here. My mom usually keeps stuff at her house. Um, so really, probably most of this is unnecessary, but you know, I have to be extra. <laughs> um, so yeah, so a set of clothes for Xavier, his pajamas, extra set of clothes, um, a set of clothes for Ethan, extra set of clothes for Ethan, pull-ups for nighttime, two pairs of underwear for Ethan, um, extra pajamas, wipes, and their toothbrush and mouthwash, socks, underwear. And yeah, it's just one night at grandma, so I think this is enough. Um, and yeah. Okay, you can close it now. Thank you. You are ready? No. Yeah. Ugh. I need Spider-Man to leave right here. You gonna leave Spider-Man? Yeah. You are? Yeah. But, but mommy, he will be right back. He, he's gonna be right back? Yeah. You sure you don't want to take Spider-Man with you? No. Okay. Wait. Hold him, mommy. Hold him. He's too, he too small. Okay. You ready? Get your backpack. So we can go. Your backpack. So I'm at home. It feels so weird to be here without the boys. <laughs> but i just made myself some like fajita type things i used this chipotle bowl with black beans stuff they were selling this at aldi it's one of those aldi's things where it's like here today gone tomorrow i put a load of laundry in picked up a little bit i have so much trash that needs to go out not gonna lie i'm just a little bit like even though like my protectors are a three-year-old and a nine-year-old but still <laughs> so one good thing though is that i have my living room back do they take over your living room tv like i feel like it's so unfair but let me show you my spread i have a candle lit on my coffee table which never happens because i have a three-year-old and he will blow it out <laughs> uh he just you know, it's like a, like a birthday candle. He loves to blow them out. Oh my gosh. Here is the little Chipotle bowl stuff. This one, I'm trying the vegan Caesar on top um, from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna see how I like it. Um, and then that one is just, you know, regular. And then some tater tots because why not? Uh, should I watch this? Which is what everybody was talking bad about good morning guys um 
I look like a little boy. <laughs> you guys know the boys are at my mom's house right now and um, because the guys were coming, the men, the workers are coming to like inspect my place. So the first round of um, guys just came in. I think it's like the restoration company's um, manager or the owner or whatever. He came in with a little machine and put it against the wall to see if there was water behind the wall. So he went um, across the entire wall where my where the walls join with the unit next to me. So um, just to re-explain, the fire happened in a unit that was over top of my neighbor. So when the fire department responded and they, you know, dumped all the water, the water has no choice but to go down, right? So with that, I am on the ground floor on my side, but my neighbor has somebody under has somebody under her. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's just like the way it's configured. I'm on the ground floor and then my neighbor has a downstairs neighbor. So as the water was coming down, obviously like it found its way into my unit and it doesn't have anywhere to go from here since I'm on the ground floor. So like I was saying, the guys came in with the machine and the machine or the little um, a meter or a detector or um, a sensor and they put it against the wall where our apartments are joined together. Um, and it detects or, or it beeps when water is behind a wall. So he, they went in and they checked this wall in the living room and it was fine, it didn't beep at all. And then they went and checked in the bathroom and they were in there for a while. And I was like, what's taking so long? So then he was like, ma'am, come here. And I was like, uh oh, <laughs> should I be scared? And then he says, I need for you to be careful. I want you to be safe. He actually demonstrated for me with the meter or sensor or whatever, the little machine he had. And he went across the wall and it was just like, it was water all behind my bathroom wall um, and in my closet wall. So he said, we're going to bring another dehumidifier. You guys know I have a dehumidifier that's already set up in my room in my closet. So they're coming to remove the baseboards and then they're gonna put another dehumidifier in. And then if that doesn't get it all dry by Monday, they're gonna have to take the wall down. So I am so thankful and I am grateful that this is a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment and I can use the boys' bathroom in the event that I can't use my bathroom or don't have access to my bathroom. Um, um, yeah, so I've, I've already removed everything from my bathroom because this, that's what they instructed me to do. I did that yesterday, so. I think they're back. I'll check back in later. Okay. So, here is the bathroom. They took the baseboards off. Um, wow. And now everything is running into my taking the stuff out of that drawer before <sighs> okay I wonder if they meant to leave that tape obviously he, he said that if I needed to I could use the shower but I think I'm just going to use the boys shower um, I'm scared to actually be in here so wow I guess it's going to be vlogs for, for a while because <laughs> I am not doing any cleaning videos with, I guess I can just clean the kitchen and stuff, but the living room is out. Yeah, it's not gonna be any cleaning videos for a while, guys. Yeah, the property manager just came around and she said that she will be back on Monday. So now I'm on my way to 
the grocery store um, and I am filming a separate haul so that haul should already be up on my channel by the time you all see this video so go ahead and check that out I want to go back to Trader Joe's because the kids loved the chicken fried rice um, I know I can make that myself but it's just so much easier for them to do it, you know? So, or to get it from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna dump this trash and then I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's. just put all of the groceries away. I am getting ready to go pick up the boys now. Um, I wanted to show you their room. It's nice and clean, I did that earlier. Um, so now, it's about the only thing that's clean in this apartment because everything is a mess. From them fixing. Look who's home. We're home. <laughs> so I just got back in from picking the boys up from my mom's house and Ethan is asleep which is why which is why I am wow you cannot see me at all which is why I'm so smiley because Ethan is asleep um, I'm gonna eat something I really haven't eaten a substantial meal today so I'm gonna eat something and then I have to edit a video and I don't know what the sleeping arrangements are gonna be tonight it was really difficult to sleep in my room last night um, because of the double dehumidifiers. So um, we'll see how it goes. Good morning, it's Sunday. Wait, it's Sunday. <laughs> and I am about to make myself some coffee. I don't really know what we have planned today. I think it's really cold outside, so. I don't know if we're gonna go out, but it's sunny, so it's kind of making me wanna go outside, you know? I do know I need to get some more moisturizer. That is the one thing I don't like about the way the bottle is set up. You can't tell if you're about to run low. Um, What's wrong? Sorry. What are you sorry about? Here's the coffee that I got from Aldi. It's so good. Y'all, look at my room. Serving of, so this is all the, all the moisturizer I have left. Like literally just enough for today. So I'm gonna use that when I'm done with my stretches and stuff. Whoa, it's amazing. So I'm getting ready to make myself some food. This is actually my first meal of the day. I got this from Costco yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna plate this. And I, what I really want, what I really want is one of those plate bowl things, like a very shallow bowl, but it's like wider and the sides are raised. You guys know what I'm talking about. I want one of those for salads because I'm trying to eat more salads and stuff like that um but anyway so i'm going to plate this and i just put these these are crab cakes i made them in the air for actually here here's the packaging from aldi uh so yeah so i'm gonna plate this and then i'll show you after here is the salad all plated up um i didn't really put that much dressing on it it looks like it because there is avocado puree in there as well so you see the white is the dressing and the green is the avocado but i am excited
so we're back in the car. It was not. It was good, but it, I just couldn't breathe much. <laughs> you need to get used to having your, your mask on for a long time. Because if you go back to school, in classroom, you have to have your mask on all day. No. Ugh, shoot. Ugh. You know that? Yeah. I purchased my, my moisturizer. So you guys know I use this one. Um, so I got that. This was my birthday gift. Uh, he gave you some, right? Right? And then I got this Summer Fridays lip butter balm. I've heard such good things about it. Don't so open it, mommy. I'm trying that. Don't open it? Yeah. It's oh. caught. He said wow that really just shot out of there mm. here take some of this because i took too much out wow so shiny i love it hi guys so it's monday morning and i'm Mommy? sitting here with my coffee Mommy and Ethan, <laughs> um, we are waiting for the workers to come. It's a wintry mix outside, um, so I didn't take him to daycare today. I didn't want to be on the roads today. And we are chilling. We are chilling. I think you wear that sweater every Monday. Did you have that sweater on last Monday? Stop. You want to spill my coffee? <laughs> Stop, Ethan, you're jumping and you want to spill my coffee. I hear the workers working next door and today is the day that we're going to find out if they have to rip my wall down. I am going to keep vlogging until we find out today. And then I'll wrap the vlog up once we have an answer. So, whoa, what is this? All right guys, so the men just left and they removed the dehumidifiers. So here's what my closet is looking like. You can kind of see where the water is uh, like there. And then it came down the seams. It's like all around the seams. Um, and it the, the carpet was like all wet and it still stinks, the carpet. Um, Come on, Ethan. There is no padding under here because they took the padding out from in the closet, but they didn't take the padding out from out here. And this space is still, it, Whoa! It's, it's, it stinks. So um, they're gonna come back tomorrow. They're gonna come back tomorrow to put the padding back in and put the carpet and the, the baseboards and stuff back in and then um, I will be able to use the closet again. The I got in touch with my re, my real estate. My I got in touch with my insurance um, today. They actually called me today, and they told me that um, they were gonna have the textile people um, come take my clothes to have them cleaned and stuff because of the smell. So that's happening tomorrow. Only thing is, when they have my clothes, they have them for three weeks. So, yeah, um, <laughs> um, I am working from home today. Both boys are here today, so we're just kind of home and I'm trying to do my best with getting work done, but it's really hard with the contractors in and out and stuff like that. So but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.